The first race of day three will be the four and a quarter mile Irish Stairs Handicap. It's a 0 to 160. And at the top we've got Southside for Kevin Mina and National Madam Joshua Sutherland, Sweet Women, David Hooley. Tintzin Fire Up, Padre Hogan, April Furbet, David Robertson, The Gentle Blade, Leon Van Rensburg, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, Shimon de Fay, for Padre Hogan, Ironical Harold, Graham Clitterbuck, Matador, Martin Leadham, Beyond a Desire, Derek Hinton, and King of Windsor, Alex Cherry, they're called in and racing, it's still raining again today, as it was yesterday, and we head down towards the first, also for the over that one, and uh, we've got to see quite a lot of long distance races. We've got a decent sized field of 12 for this one. And King of Windsor has gone on into the lead racing down to the second of the 24, which is a ditch. And then also for the over that one, the sweet women just the early back marker. But King of Windsor is stepping on him with lead and leads by four lengths to Frozen Hope in second. The grey is Matador, the second grey further down the field is south side for. Kevin Meenan as they get to the third. And they will safely over the third. With the King of Windsor in front. And they're all safely over that one. It's a short one to the fifth. Which they just about all get over. Darren Thompson's frozen hope was a little bit untidy. And King of Windsor is the fall end leader to National Madam in second. And the Padraig Hoban pair, Shaman de Fey and Tintzin Fire Up. Matador is after that one. That's the ground on the inside then. Frozen Hope and made the early mistake. Then the second race, Southside. Would have feeling that may have won the national last year. Then Sweet Women after that one. And the Gentle Blade is on the inside. With Beyond Desire and Ironical Harold. And the back marker is April Furbet. As so they head towards fence number six. The leader gets over nicely, the rest of them stream over it nicely as well. Bit of a mistake by Beyond Desire at the back of seeing that one really going into last place again. But it's King of Windsor. Who leads by three to four lengths to the National Madam in second. Got a bit close to that one, National Madam Matador jumps it well in third. Tints in final four. Frozen Hope 5 as they take the 8th. And as a forward at the back beyond, Desire has gone. Made a couple of mistakes early on. And finally paid the price. And has departed the race. And that one is out. And it's King of Windsor. Who is the leader at this stage. Heading down towards the next fence, leading by about four lengths to National Madam in a second. Joshua Sutherland seems to have one or two decent long distance chases this year. Big to take a grand National Matador is in third, Tints in final fourth. And then Frozen Hope fifth, Shaman de Fay after that one. And Southside and Ironical Harold. The purple jacket of a sweet woman on the outside of the Gentle Blade. And finally April Furbet for David Robertson on the outside is just. The back marker. As they race downhill now. Heading towards fence number nine. King of Wins has been in the lead all the way. Alex Cherry still looking for his first winner of the season, which is a bit of a surprise. Indeed, normally does reasonably well. I'm sure he'll pick up as the season goes on. Horses are not running all that well. Maybe he should complain to the handicapper that he's not giving them a good enough mark as they get over that next one. Although well, that would rather be a bit pointless considering Alex is the National Hunt handicapper. Maybe he's been too hard on himself. Who knows? Anyway, King of Windsor into this next ditch. He's over it in the lead. Matador's over it in second. But headed again there by National Madam Frozen Hope Tints in final. The one that's made a forward move is Ironical Harold. Trying to break a string of falls. That's departed the race on both its start so far this season south side the top weight i'm pretty sure that did when they were in national last year has dropped to the back explain why it's top weight as well wouldn't it as they get into the 12th so they all get over nicely with king of windsor undisputed lead over 13. 
Only one mistake at the back of my April Furbit. King of Windsor. It's been in the lead all the way. Tints in fire is now moving to second. Uh, the other one that's made good ground is the gentle blade on the outside. There's still a long way to go. And one of these two what are these what two of these are um shuffling for position already, so just want to get themselves into a decent spot. Early on, there's still two miles to race. And King of Windsor is in the lead. Leading by three to Tints in Fire in second. And National Madam and Frozen Hope and that's it all after that one. The second grey south side is now the back marker. King of Windsor is bowling along nicely in the lead. this ditch all over that nicely as well over the next they go and King of Windsor being joined now by National Madam and Tintin Fire off Rosen Hope Matador Sweet Women is making a bit of a forward move Southside is starting to struggle as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit left to go National Madam has now come through to take it up. Leads by about half a length. To King of Windsor is now back in second, but still travelling well. Gap of two lengths or so then to Frozen Hope, Chamon de Fay on the inside. Stable mate tints in fire a wider on the track. Wider still is the gentle blade. Matador and Ironical Harold between them. April Furbet is trying to get up the inside with a they're looking for a dream split there. So too will sweet women. South side is about Three lengths of drift at the back, but we know that that one stays the trip and he's under a welter weight. And it's King of Windsor and National Madam disputing the lead as they head for the next. The gentle blade going ominously well on the outside. There's plenty of chances. The only one you probably think isn't liable to take it is south side at this point. But it's National Madam and King of Windsor. Two and a half lengths up on April Furbet, who's got that split and moved through into third. Then the Gentle Blade, Frozen Hope, Sweet Women, the Matador is still there. Number two, Tints in Fire and Shem and the Fire, Ironical Harold has just dropped to the back of that group, but he's only seven or eight lengths off the lead. Three lengths then back to south side at the back. They're inside the final mile now and taking fence 17, which they all get over nicely. And National Madam is Three quarters of a length clear of King of Windsor over this ditch. So they all get over nicely. Matador jumped it slowly and has lost his place a little bit. And it's National Madam and King of Windsor. The Gentle Blade and April Furbet. Shemin de Fay and Tints in Fyral. And Matador being driven up to that leading group again. And Sweet Women frozen hope on the inside. Ironical Harold on the outside as they get over the 19th. South side is starting to pick up at the back as well. Well, we ruled that one out a little bit too quickly, but it's National Madam in front. Matador has now come through in the second. Over the third, and Matador's crashed out and fallen just as he was coming through to make a challenge. And Matador crashes out, and National Madam left in the lead clear by about three lengths. Matador was coming through to challenge for the lead at that point and looked to be going quite well. Now Frozen Hope has moved through in a second. South side is making some ground on the outside but still with a lot of work to do. It's National Madam in front from in second place. Frozen Hope the lead is now up to five or six lengths. Could this be another one for Joshua Sutherland? It's looking like he's got a strong hand early on in the National Betting and it's going to be National Madam who's going to race up towards this next one with a clear lead over the third last. Clear of Frozen Hope in second. Chamon de Fay and April Furbet then tins in fire. We can pretty much forget the rest, I think, as they come down to the final two fences. And it's National Madam who's still five clear of Frozen Hope in second. Chamon de Fay is third. April Furbet four. Tins in fire or five. Trying to run on the gentle blade over the second last they go. And National Madam is still clear and racing down towards the final fence. Pops over it, short running as well. They're not going to get anywhere near this one. It's going to be another one in the vault for Joshua Sutton. The sixth length winner, National Madam, takes it from Frozen Hope, a distant second. And it's going to be close for third. Looks like April Furbeck's just going to hang on from the Padre Hogan pair next. And then all the way back to the early leader, King of Windsor. 
who was the last one to finish and the National Madam took that pretty convincingly I wonder what would have happened if Matador would have stayed on its feet but I don't know if it would have gone anywhere near that leader that winner National Madam takes it for Joshua Sutherland Frozen Hope second for Darren Thompson April Furbeck David Robertson third and Patrick Hogan took fourth and fifth with Shaman Defay and Tintin Final.